scientist in Serbia has already invented this liquid tree, but not many people know about it. So in this video, I have taken the concept of the liquid tree and made some changes and added my own innovative ideas in this project. So without wasting any time, let's start the video. To make this project, we need two mini solar panels, size 80 by 40 millimeters, two 12 volt air pump, medium-sized shoulderless breadboard, LDR module, transistor, two toggle switches, red, blue, and white LEDs, two 39-ohm resistors and two 100-ohm resistors, a diode, 9-volt battery, 12 volts rechargeable battery. All product links are in description. First of all, take a wooden board as the base. Now take a transparent plastic bottle, like this. Seal the bottle properly to avoid leakage. Now take a cardboard piece and cut it, as you can see in the video. Cut some more pieces. Now again take a cardboard and make a circle. Again make another circle with bigger radius. Now cut the inner circle and also the outer circle. After that you'll get a disc like cardboard piece. Now place this cardboard here as you can see in the video. And stick it properly. Now, take those cardboard pieces that we cut earlier and stick them all around the bottle as shown in the video. Now guys, make a hole on the top of the bottle. Again make another small hole on this side. Now make a cut on the bottle to make an entry exit door. Now take those solar panels and stick them on the cardboard. Guys, connect the positive terminal of one panel to the negative terminal of other panel. Now take three white LEDs and stick them on the inner side of each cardboard as shown in the video. Now guys, make a series connection with these LEDs with the help of this diagram. Link in description. Don't forget to connect this 100 ohm resistor to the positive terminal of one LED. Now, stick the container in the center of the wooden base. Now take a 9 volt battery and its cap. And also a toggle switch. Connect the wires to the switch and battery. Now, stick the battery and switch on the wooden board. Now guys you can see the LEDs are glowing. Now guys we have to make a parallel connection with 3 blue and 3 red LEDs. I have easily made it on breadboard. You can see other videos about how to use a breadboard. Guys here, I have used 100 ohm resistor for red LED and 39 ohm resistor for blue LED. This is the diagram of whole circuit that I have done in this project. Diagram link in description. Place the LED system here. You can see that it has become a bit tilted. For its support, we will stick a piece of cardboard here. Now it is straight. Now take a medium sized breadboard. Then a LDR module. And a transistor. Now guys, you have to complete the entire LDR system connection on the breadboard. Now guys, take a 12 volts air pump and connect it with a pipe. Insert the pipe inside the container. Now stick the air pump here. Now take a toggle switch and connect it to the breadboard. 
Now finally take that 12 volt rechargeable battery and place it here, and connect it to the breadboard. After that, complete the connection of the solar panel. Now, guys, we will attach a pipe at the bottom of the container, through which water can easily drain out. This is because if we turn the container upside down to remove the water, our project might get damaged. Here I have made a handle using wire. Now make a small hole here. Then take another 12 volt air pump and connect it to a pipe that is coming from this hole. Now take another pipe and stick it around the container and make a number of small holes in this pipe. After connecting the air pump to the battery, our project is now completed. Now it's time to decorate our project, and for that, I'll cover it with some colorful papers on it. Now guys, you can see that when sunlight falls on the solar panel, the bulb starts glowing, indicating that we're receiving energy from the sun and it's also being stored in the battery. Now, let's pour water into the container. Now I'm adding green color to the water, so it looks like microalgae. So guys, our fully functioning artificial tree project is now completed, and now it is ready for any science competition. So guys, now I will explain how this project works. So basically guys, when we give power to this artificial tree, the ear pump will pump in polluted air from outside into the microalgae solution, creating bubbles inside. The microalgae will then perform photosynthesis and convert this polluted air into oxygen. The vacuum pump above the container will create low pressure in the solution, allowing the oxygen to be released from the water and flow directly through the pipe to the surroundings providing airflow to people sitting on the bench. Meanwhile, the solar panels we have installed will convert the sun's heat energy into electrical energy, which will be stored in the battery, helping to power the pumps and light. The automated LDR light system will automatically turn on at night and off during the day, serving as a street light at night and sometimes supporting the photosynthesis process at night. Now, the ceramic solar film applied on the surface of the container will block excessive heat energy from the sun, providing a suitable, favorable, and stable temperature for the microalgae to perform the photosynthesis process efficiently. In this artificial tree, the ear pump will run for 12 to 15 hours and will be off for the rest of the time at night. This artificial tree is highly beneficial for areas with severe pollution, limited space, or where planting real trees is not feasible. It acts as a life-saving tree in these types of areas. This one artificial tree is equivalent to 40 normal trees in terms of oxygen production. Installing this artificial tree in such polluted areas can prove to be highly beneficial, as it not only produces oxygen, but also helps reduce air pollution. So guys, thanks for watching this video. If you have any doubts or problems related to this project, you can easily ask them in the comments, and I will help to resolve your problem.